Hey guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91, and I'm bringing you a topic that I've been wanting to talk about for a while, but kind of held back because everybody else was talking about it first, and I wanted to kind of talk about it when either it died down or when also I wanted to talk about it when I finally got some solid info. Now, Valve has leased out SteamOS to third parties, which has resulted in a bunch of third parties coming out with what's known as the Steam Machines. Now, the problem I have is that there are way too many Steam Machines, okay? I mean, I don't know, I mean, Valve probably won't lose the money in the end since it's leased these out to third parties, but whoever these third parties are, I, I hope that all these can get some good money. I, I just hope to God that all these people can get good money because it's just way too much. I mean, I know they're trying to release it for a certain amount of people. And they're trying to broaden their horizons by having it available, but so much. But just listen to some of these. Like, they have the Alienware Steam Machine, the Alternate Steam Machine. That's a terrible name, by the way. They have the CyberPower PC Steam Machine. They have the iBuyPower PC t or iBuyPower Steam Machine, Digital Storm, just to name a few. Now, the main problem for me is that these are supposed to be councils? I'm not exactly sure but I think these are supposed to be councils. Some of these have the HDM in, HDMI out. So some of these seem like they can hook up to both your cable and your TV, and you, you know, like how Xbox One does, where it allows you to um, hook up to both cable and TV, you know, hook up your cable to the box itself. Now, I don't know how that, and they really shouldn't have had that. They probably could have knocked off some money off of these because some of these are expensive. Like, let me just say, the alternate Steam Machine, still a terrible name, is $13.39 US dollars. Now, granted, it does have 16 gigs of RAM, which is great. It has an Intel Core i7-4570, which is good as well. Has the Gigabyte GTX 760, not bad. Has a terabyte of SSHD hard drive space. Now, that's, that's great. Listen, for a computer, a desktop, that'd be greatness. That'd be a great gaming desktop, right? problem is these are meant to be like councils okay who is going to spend that much on something that's supposed to be like a council I don't know whether all of these are supposed to be like councils the I buy power is the only one that makes and the cyber PC are the only ones that make sense to me at all mostly because of the price they're both like 499 yeah both the I buy power even though the um, cyber PC also has another version that is more expensive because they have like the Cyber PC Steam Machine A, Cyber PC Steam Machine I. Now the thing about that is that who is going to buy these? See, one thing about consoles is that I think 75% of consoles are bought by casual gamers. People who don't know, don't have a clue what they're buying. They just know Xbox came out with a new system, I'm going to buy it. PlayStation came out with a new system, I'm going to buy it. Nintendo came out with a new system, I'm going to get it. All they care about is what games they can play on it. They don't care about the hard drive statistics. They don't care about how good it looks or how well it's going to run. They only want to play games. Now, Steam, Valve, I should say, makes good games. I'll admit that. Problem is... There's one question, will Valve continue to make games for consoles now that they want to bring out all these Steam machines? I mean, Valve makes games like Left 4 Dead for consoles, and they're great games, they sell well, but would Valve be able to make a game for these, because they're leasing out these Steam OS's to these third parties. Now, I think Valve would still be able to make a game for these, but at the end, it just, is, it just would be weird. It's like, why buy a Steam machine if I can play Valve games on... An on another console or even the PC also the Steam OS I have not yet really been able to tamper with it I've seen it I just don't know it just doesn't look like something that's as appealing as maybe Windows or Linux I just don't I just can't really say anything much about these machines other than that I think this may be a terrible idea and I feel as though, because right now I'm counting about 14 Steam machines coming out, and that's just a lot. I mean, 14 different versions of Steam machines? Give me a break. 
these machines, I feel like there's going to be a race. And whoever comes out on top, the others will just drift away. Like, I feel like people are going to basically just buy either the Cyber PC or the iBuy Power because they're the cheapest. And you don't really need more than this for a system if this is like a council. I mean, the, uh, the Cyber PC A has 3.9 gigahertz, an AMD A A A6 6400K, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 2 gigabyte um, graphics card, it was an AMD Radeon, and 500 gigabyte hard drive. You don't need more than that. And the iBuy Power has 8 gigabytes of RAM and a Radeon GCN. I don't know what card that is, actually. I, I, know, I know Radeon makes good cards, but... But the iPi Power only has um, a quad core, Intel or AMD quad core. Now that could be anything from good to bad. It could be one of the new i5s. It could be one of the old i5s, because, or it could be one of the old i7s or one of the new ones. You know, because quad core can go straight from i5 to i7. I mean, I don't want to get into details. The question I want to ask you is, if you were a casual gamer, if you and some of you are, and you saw this on the shelf. And you saw 11 different Steam machines on the shelf. Would you get any of those? Would you get a Wii U or a PS4 or an Xbox One? Would, I mean, honestly, would you want to buy these machines? I mean, because the average person is going to ask the guy at Best Buy, so what's the difference between all these machines? The guy at Best Buy is going to take 15 minutes to explain, and, the, and, the guy, and, and then he's going to look over and notice that the person stopped listening 14 minutes and 35 seconds ago and just picked up a Wii U or Xbox One or a PS4. I mean, I just don't see these making that much money, at least not as in a group. These are all owned by different companies, it seems like, so maybe one of the companies will just take completely over iBuyPower or CyberPC. I'm really betting on, I'm not literally betting, but the CyberPC Steam Machine A seems to be the best value for your buck. It's the same price as an Xbox One, has around the same stats, but I'm pretty sure this processor is better than the Xbox One processor. Probably it may not be, but and this video card looks better than the Xbox One's video card. Okay, it looks better. Two gigabytes AMD Radeon R9 270 looks better than the one in the Xbox One. Okay, so just tell me your thoughts. Do you think these Steam machines having so many is a good idea? Do you think the Steam machine at all is a good idea? I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say about this because. I am so lost on why we need so many. Alright, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and God bless.